4,840 pounds. This is a mini 2200 SS here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. If you'd like to see if we have this beauty in stock and available and how we have it in stock and available, because it could look or be equipped wildly different from what you see here, then please visit the link down in the video description that says check for price and availability. That'll show you exactly what we have in stock and available. You know, so you can check for price and availability. And by the way, we don't do hidden fees at Halet RV. If you'd like full explanation of that, please give our team a call. So we've got a large front storage compartment. Actually, let me back up a step. What is this thing? You know, what is it first? First of all, this is basically the 2106 FBS, the Micro Mini on steroids. This is a bigger, wider, um, in every sense, just larger version of the very, very popular 2106 FBS. If you like that little guy, but you want a little more space, you want a little more plush going on, that's what this is here. They're more similar than they're not. This is just the big brother version, if you will. Um, so back to where we were at. We've got a very expansive front storage compartment here. It's large enough that this is actually a giant box that contains the dual um, propane tank and regulator system that goes on the tongue of this thing, and it's dwarfed by the size of that compartment. Now we've got the easy operation uh, magnetic latches. That's where you'll start to see some differences between micro and mini. The, the, the Winnie Mini is not to be confused with the Mini Winnie. Now, technically speaking, this is a prototype that we're looking at. This is the very first one of these to ever test market a front nose cap. So this has a partial front cap on it with a lower diamond plate. That has never been done on a Winnebago Mini ever before. We're the first dealer to touch this. Because of the volume of sales that we do with Winnebago, because of our customer feedback with them, because of our partnership, we were allowed the first opportunity to put this on market to give people feedback. So. Please give us some feedback. If you're just on YouTube, please leave some comments in the video description. Do you like the partial cap versus just a plain white uh, front here? So let me explain about this cap a little more so you can be educated on it. This is literally the exact same cap as the Mini Plus, which is the tier above this. However, it has not undergone the partial paint process that gives the Mini Plus nose its little black accents, nor does it have the LED accent lights of the Mini Plus nose. They wanted to give this a good look without going too nuts on the price tag and whatnot. Um, nothing is necessarily out of the question, and it really is based on your feedback, folks. So please visit the link in the video description if we have it available still see the price tag say hey I think that's fair it's not fair I like it I don't like it just be respectful and uh, we'll pass that along to the factory you literally have a chance to influence the future of this product awesome so while we're standing here I want to talk chassis this runs on a different chassis it's an aircraft style huck bolted frame um, you know at a glance it doesn't look very different but it's uh, it's a Z chassis made with HSLA steel high strength low alloy it is stronger and lighter not less expensive, but it, it does, there is a trend in the industry that the RVs that ride on this chassis really seem to just never come back with service stuff. Uh, I, I'm a person who speaks in extremes. It, it's inappropriate for me to say never, but it is just absolutely the exception, not the rule. Now, I mentioned that the one that we have in stock could look different from this. You may have noticed we've got that nice platinum exterior. Um, there are seven different exterior color skin options with Winnebago, and do you see the extreme reflectivity we're looking at? A literal mirror-like finish? That is because Winnebago's fiberglass is two to three grades above anything else that is out there. There, there is no one else that has this grade of fiberglass in this class. Um, there's Phylon, where you can still see the fibers of the fiberglass blanket in the wall. There's high gloss where they add more resin to the wall so you don't see the fibers anymore. You can get either of those gel coated to give it a shiny skin and some good UV protection and that's nice. And then there's true gel coat. This is a T60 gel coat like the, the skin of Winnebago Diesel Pusher. Look at that. You can literally read the letters, although backwards, of the Jayco trailer beside us there. Um, this is one of the things, one of the reasons that we added the Winnebagos to our lineup here at Halo RV. Because there's lots of other RVs that have similar layouts to the Winnebagos, but no one, no one has their look, fit, and finish. It is, they are cosmetically different from anything else on the market, and I really like that. I like they have a very beautiful, light, bright interior. They're not dark, they're not drab, they're not dour. Um, something I love on this floor plan is I think the hookups are in the, what I call, correct spot. 
they're in the back corner on the driver's side because this is where your hookups are going to be on most campsites. So it makes sense that that's where you hook everything up on the trailer. Um, RVs are built with an interior concept first and then the exterior stuff is placed where it can go. This one, everything lined up. The moon and the stars aligned and everything lined up in the exact same correct position I think it should be. Neat little stuff too. Black tank flush, outside shower, 18 gallon per hour gas electric water heater and separate cable satellite hookups right here next to your beautiful Winnebago emblazoned aluminum wheel package. These Winnies do have a, uh, uh, um, a skinned underbelly just to help with a little bit of critter protection, seasonal protection, things like that. Um, debris control. Uh, they have a full walk-on roof, which is kind of why you see the ladder there. If you visit our website uh, and you, you know, you're on haloidrv.com, you're taking a look at it, you'll actually see a picture of yours truly standing on the roof of this because even as a big fella, it can hold me just fine. Notice that they put a maximum sized awning on the Winnebago here. It's another reason that I like them here at Halid RV. There are less expensive lightweights, and that doesn't mean they're bad. There's just less expensive lightweights out there. One of the areas that they might save money is by going to a shorter awning. It starts at the back wall, it goes all the way forward until it meets that window right there. So you get maximum awning space on this thing. And this is an easy tilt awning, it has full LED lights, and against that shiny sidewall, it lights up out here. And I love the, the white black high contrast look of these Winnebago graphics. It just looks killer. So this is a sample of the wood tones that we're going to see inside in just a moment. This is a couple's coach, rear bath, nice little slide open outside kitchen with your cooktop. You've got dad's medicine cabinet. Love you, girl. You keep all the bottles of water and the barley pop cold for us. We appreciate you. Uh, some people ask me sometimes, what is up with Winnebago? Why do they keep leaving these hoses out? Well, every camper should have a hose sticking out of the back of the refrigerator vent. This is a condensation drain. Don't tuck this up inside because now you're going to be dripping water in you all. Don't do that. Stop doing that. Outside TV hookups here, by the way. Larger triple entry step. You can save money again. There's dollar cheaper stuff and that doesn't mean it's bad. It just means that there's different stuff out there and you get what you pay for. You want the triple steps? Yeah, a little more money. You want the nicer grab handle? Yeah, a little more money. You want the extra large bedroom windows? A little more money. Um, you know, what is nice is with our volume here, you see we've got all these service bays and all the different things that we offer here at Halo. There's a Winnebago leaving right now. Look at that. Couldn't have planned that better. But we've got all the service bays to take care of you. Full pieces, parts, hitching, accessory center. We only do trades and financing and everything else in between. Um, we just do everything, guys. Apparently, my Apple Watch heard me say the word seriously at one point, and it's been trying to dictate for me the whole time, thinking I said, hey, Siri, that's, that's really funny. All right. So this is called the cobblestone decor, as long as I don't trip and kill myself. So this is like a, a more creamy interior. It does, if you get real close to it, it does have like a little bit of almost like a stone wash grit to it um, with some very nice cloth accents. I love the that everything's got a shape in here. But again, just like there's a platinum exterior on this, there are different color exteriors. If you like everything that's except the color of that couch, for example, well, give us a call because there's different interiors as well. So, what are the things I like about the Winnebago Mini in compared to the other things that we offer here at Halid RV? Why do we have this? You know, it has to have unique redeeming qualities. I'm a weird person in this business. I seem to believe that every RV, even the ones that I don't carry, have redeeming qualities. Because if they didn't, nobody would buy them. So why look at this one? Well, first of all, it's obvious that we have a drastically different look in here. It is lighter. It is brighter. It feels open and airy and, and comfortable. It's, it doesn't, it's not a bummer. On a rainy day inside, it's still nice and light and bright in here, and you feel very, very good about yourself. Also, they use an above floor slide system. What that means to you is that they don't have to have any carpet. 100% carpetless interior so that you, uh, you know, it's easy cleaning. Now you see we have centrally ducted heat, which is a most efficient system. We have central um, ceiling lighting and uh, air conditioning. Again, the most effective, uh, like efficient systems out there. So th that, that motorized, like everyone knows when you're looking at a Winnebago motorhome, you're definitely looking at something special, a cut above. That mentality trickled over here into their towable RVs. The fit, the finish, like if you start looking at where everything all fits together, it's it's just absolutely seamless. It's very impressive how they've managed to put everything together. You know, they're not the only pocket screwed um, set of cabinets out there. It's just that they've executed it so well. And it's, guys, it's not always the playbook, it's the execution. Now this is something I need to start talking about. 
For years, almost every RV came with a one-year roadside assistance plan. This year, I have noticed a lot of major brands have phased out silently. They haven't talked about it. But they have phased out their one-year roadside assistance included with their warranty. Winnebago has not. You still get that protection. That's from uh, CoachNet. It's awesome. It's absolutely awesome. All the things they do for you. Um, so I like that you have really big overhead cabinet too. But because there's such a large gap here, you're not going to hit your head on it. And there's no sharp corners on this front bed where you're going to dig your arms. That's another thing I've learned to look for. The differences in RVs here at Halet RV between different things. Like I already talked about how they have the biggest in-class bedroom windows of anything out there period it's awesome now this is an easy lift bed and if you do lift this up what you're treated to is you get to kind of see where they are using wood they're using nicer plywood not osb not particle board <laughs> or uh, beaver puke there's nothing necessarily wrong with osb actually there can be very high quality grades of it it's just what are we looking at and how what is the application because different materials benefit in different applications guys um Little detail stuff like this too, like Winnebago, and uh, there's a few brands that do this. We carry a couple here at Halitz that do this. But um, your air vents are louvered and directional. You can close it, you can open it, you can turn it. So you, you get air where you want it, when you want it. So, like, if you like to be cold, but you like to not have air blowing right on you, you can do that in here. Uh, big side stand with USB outlets and household outlets for CPAPs and phone chargers. This side will also have a nice little platform with outlets as well. Now as I uh, turn us around, <clears throat> this is a upgraded sofa as compared to the 2106 FPS Micro Mini we also offer here at Halet RV, obviously. Um, it's just thicker, it's more plush, it's got like the, the um, quilted sort of pattern back, it's a lot fluffier. It's, it's a good grandkid sleeper. You're not going to sleep adults on it. They didn't kill the overhead storage. Again, this is the bigger sister, and it has a deeper slide. So not only is the whole body wider than the Micro Mini, this, the, the whole slide's deeper in everything. And that offered some bigger windows in the slide sides. Pretty similar entertainment center. I'd have to look. Maybe bigger TV, but maybe not. And they do run the high-def wiring in that, which is a nice touch. Um, as we look over here, you can see the plywood boxed drawers and, uh, you know, not particle board. Now, notice that they left you an access panel here, the storage cabinet, to get to the chunk of counter space or cabinet space that's under that countertop. Not every brand has the foresight to do that, amazingly enough. Um, stove or yeah, stove cover and sink covers. And notice that this is stainless. And you'll see the same thing in the in the bathroom. That is, again, that's like a fifth wheel or motorhome type thing that they brought here into a very small, lightweight 4,800 pound towable. These are the Winnebago differences. That's why we like them here at Halet RV. It's a bunch of small substitutions. Now, every time you're substituting something from a good product to a better one, like a stainless sink, you're ringing that cash register a little bit. Each little thing ticks the price tag up a little bit. But, what are you going to use it for? If you're looking for retirement grade, this is the last thing we're ever going to have. Like something like this, like, hey, we've got a, a SUV with a big tow package, or we've got a smaller truck, or maybe you've got a three-quarter ton, I don't care, and you just don't want to tow the world's biggest camper. Don't! You can get one of these and get a very well-built camper that is, uh, you know, uh, smaller, reliable, easier tow, and they fully frame all the door jams, you know, so this, this doesn't buckle, it doesn't wiggle, so the door's not going to pop open in transit and smash against the wall in there. A uh, huge rear bathroom. Huge rear bathroom, Hulk size rear bathroom, Hulk bathe. <laughs> um, not a small sink, just a huge, huge bathroom uh, cabinet and countertop. And I like that they put the power outlets where they are the <laughs> not the outlets, although they did they that, but the um, the switches where the grandkids can get to them. And again, stainless in the bathroom. If they would have swapped down to plastic here, you probably would have never even thought about it because that's so industry standard that you're conditioned to seeing that here. But they didn't. They went a cut above. Now, they also went with the... There's a small radius shower and a big radius shower. They went with the big radius shower with a skylight. And you do still have a power vent fan back here. And I love that rear window for the extra light and air you can get in this. Nice little porcelain bowl, foot flush. But this closet... Oh, my gosh. This closet... This is one of the differences I see in the Winnebago here at Halet RV versus a lot of other brands. Some brands will go with a taller outside kitchen. That means that you only get like from here up in storage. Look at this. You've got a two-tier closet, hat rack, like uh, pantry overflow, 
linen shelves. You can put some toilet paper rolls here or whatever. This is incredible what they've done. You could actually have like a full Swiffer or something laying down here. You have room for big stuff in this that you don't get in other campers. Now, this middle style is long. It's very susceptible to being bent out of shape. Here's how I know that these are well constructed. Grab the middle of it and start twisting and it doesn't go anywhere. The Winnebago is extremely rock solid, well built. There's other great campers out there. We carry great campers here at Haylet RV. There's all kinds of different things. But if what you're looking for is that cut above, better built, longer lasting, don't have to bring it back for service type camper, you're definitely looking at the right brand. You're definitely looking at the right brand. You know, whether it's just the beautiful best in class fiberglass, the chassis, that totally different decor, or again, let us know what you think about that nose cap. This one does a lot of good things. A lot of good things. Maybe, you know, we're just a good dealership with a good eye for product. I'm not sure. Give us a call. We only do everything at Haylet RV. Like I said, hitching, pieces, parts, trades, financing, uh, you know, truck and trailer package deals, RV delivery, everything. We'll get you camping. We'll make it fun and easy. Isn't that the whole point? Go camping, have fun. Doesn't have to be a struggle. You know, this is what we do every day. Give us a chance to work, we'll get you camping. Uh, take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone.